Thank you very much for watching Learning Grammar with Nika Lingue. I'm Teacher Nestor, and in today's class, we will talk about how much versus how many. One more time. How much versus how many. We will learn about uncountable versus countable nouns. In English, we use how much for uncountable nouns. And we have some examples of uncountable nouns. Let's go ahead and take a look at them. For example, salt, soup, tea, cottage cheese, pasta, honey, water, cheese, butter, seafood, and mustard. We also have more uncountable nouns. For example, bread, fruit, juice, meat, rice, cereal, jam, milk, coffee, sugar, flour, wine. One thing you need to keep in mind is that uncountable nouns can be countable if we add a unit of measure before the uncountable noun. For example, we have a bag of, a bowl of, a cup of, a container of, a dish of, a jar of, a glass of. A bottle of. They are uncountable, but if we add a unit of measure before the noun, we turn them into countables. Let's take a look at the following examples. A bag of salt. A bowl of soup. A cup of tea. A container of cottage cheese, a container of cheese, and a container of butter, a dish of pasta, a dish of seafood, a jar of honey, a glass of water, and a bottle of mustard. On the other hand, we have countable nouns. We use how many with countable nouns. For example, ban, sandwich, apple, orange, burger, fries, eggs, salad, vegetables, cookies, potatoes. Tomato, carrot, hot dog, candies, olives, peanuts, pancakes, onions, watermelon, pea, grapes, cherries. Remember to do the following activities. Download the PDF file, print, answer, and show it to your language specialist. Thank you very much for watching and see you in class.